Basketball tradition runs deep for many families in and around Wichita, but none have had a story quite like the Cates. Cake sports director Sully Ingalls joins us now for a story you'll see only on Cake. Michael Cates is a name you might know. He's one of the best basketball players in our area out of May South. He's named after a family member, but it's one he never got to meet. Here's a story about family, legacy, and a sweet jump shot. If you went to Wichita North High in the late 1980s, you might remember Michael Cates. He had his own personality, big personality, someone that everyone loved and gravitated to. Michael Cates is just a sophomore at North High. He may be young, but he's not in awe of his surroundings. Cates also starred for North High's basketball team as an underclassman, as talented on the court as he was in the classroom, admired by many. He had big plans for the future, but he never got to see them come to life. March 11th, 1990, he was playing pickup when he suddenly dropped. He died of an enlarged heart. I still kind of remember it pretty clear. Came to pick me up and asked me if I wanted to go hang out with them for that day. I was shooting on the goal while they were playing. I wasn't even old enough to play. And so then I just noticed the game stopped. And I looked around and everyone was huddled around and I ran over to see what was going on and I just saw my cousin laying on the, on the court. Monty Cates is Michael's younger cousin. He still remembers that day well, and he remembers the young man and mentor he was even more. Yeah, we were real close. He was, he was my idol. The day Michael was laid to rest, Monty made a choice. His firstborn son would be named Michael Cates. I was upset. I was in the bedroom and my uncle came and uh, talked to me and, and tried to lift me up and pick me up. And I think I made that decision that early on, right, like directly right after the funeral. Flash forward to today. Monty Cates kept his promise and his son is thriving. Michael Cates is a junior at Mays South, one of the best guards in the state. He's told me stories, you know, some of the stories they had. And I think it's like, you know, cool, like just sharing his name and like, you know, just trying to carry it on. Both Michael Cates can ball. Both are teammates you dream to have on your team and smart as they come, and they both have that jump. They're shooters, and that's that's the main thing that I see. That's kind of their their favorite shot. So, I, I think that's pretty cool that he he's carrying that tradition along. It's more than just a shooting tradition. It's a dream continued, and Monty is proud. His son is a reflection of his cousin. And family was important to him, and that's important to me. So, you know, I just I, I really looked up to him, and I, just my idol, and I. Just want to pass that legacy to him, and I want him to know who older Michael was. Michael from North never got to see his dreams come true. I look forward to maybe playing in the NBA one day, but whatever I do, I just, you know, plan on being successful, whatever it is I do. At May South, the Mavs Michael is following the path. I think it's pretty cool, like, you know, living that legacy and sharing his name and stuff, and, you know, just try my best to live up to him, you know, because he told me stories all the time how I was being recruited by, you know, schools like KU and stuff. So just trying to get to where he was. That cake news piece you saw throughout the story was not only the first time younger Michael Cates heard his namesake's voice, but Cates was expecting a daughter when he died. She heard her dad's voice for the first time 31 years after his passing. From the studio, Sully Engels, Cake Sports.